Hey guys, it's Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to come on here real quick and apologize for not posting a video. It's been about a month or so, but I have been kind of busy. I've been doing my therapies, then my family. We went on like a little vacation to clear water, and I've just been having a lot of stuff going on, so that's why I haven't been posting videos. But I did wanted to do like a Sunday get ready with me. Um, this is my church look for today, and I just did a quick get ready with me. I'll do a voiceover and tell you guys everything that I'm using as you can see I got a tan so my face really doesn't match that well but I am working on getting a darker foundation for that but I did try to bronze up my face as much as possible so that it can kind of blend together but anyways that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I won't keep you guys here any longer so I'll see you guys in my next one bye bye so as usual i'm gonna be going in with the l'oreal brow stylist definer in the shade brunette and i'm gonna just be underlining my brow and then i brush it out to kind of soften it and then i'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrow as normal and then setting it with a brow gel Going in with the NYX concealer, I use this as my eyelid primer and I'm going to be just applying that all over my eyelids to cancel any redness, blending it with my fingers and then I'm going to go in with a translucent powder just to set that in place. And then after that is nicely set, I'm going to be going in with the Modern Renaissance palette and these two brown shades and I'm going to be blending that in the crease as my transition shade. Now I'm using the brush that the palette comes with, I really love it. It's nice and fluffy and it kind of disperses the color just very beautifully like the transition shade should be so I'm gonna be just applying that and I do build it up like twice and then I go in with the more defined crease brush but it's still kind of fluffy and I'm gonna be going in with this orange shade that I pointed to and I'm gonna be just blending that in my crease as well and once that's nicely blended you're gonna see that I go in with a red tone just because I wanted the look to have a little bit more of a red you're gonna see at the end my dress kind of has like those fall colors so that's the look I was going for like a nice orangey reddish look so I did apply that to kind of intensify the look just a little bit and I'm just gonna be blending that out make sure you're just blending 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 that's the key to all looks so I'm using the same brush but the other side and the same orange shade as before and I'm gonna be applying that all over the lid and then going back in with the fluffy side just to make sure there's no harsh lines I'm gonna be going in with the red and the deepest brown in the palette and applying it with this small crease brush and then going in with the more fluffy brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines and everything is blended now I wanted a little bit of a pop in the center of my eyelids so I did apply the shade primavera and it's the gold shimmer shade and then going back in with the fluffy brush to make sure there's no harsh lines now I'm gonna be doing my eyeliner with a new marker and it's like a marker form. I It was so weird to do my eyeliner with it, but I did get it in Ipsy and I wanted to try it out. It was really black, but I, I can never, I never trust myself doing wings with it. So I did go back in with my detailed brush to do the wings. Now I'm using the Better Than Sex mascara and just applying two coats on my lashes. And then I think that's it. Then I'm gonna move on to the face. I'm gonna use, as always, the Maybelline Baby Skin as my primer. It just smoothens the skin and the name of it says it all baby skin That's exactly what your skin will feel like so I'm going in with the wet and wild foundation now before anybody says anything I know it's a little bit light for me, but this is the darkest foundation I had so I had to work with what I had So I'm just gonna be applying that and I don't know if you guys can tell but my nose is peeling really bad from my sunburn So what I did was I had put the foundation on and you're gonna see that it does 
nose look like it's breaking up in my nose area and I did not show this when I was recording but I did end up having to take a makeup wipe and just rubbing it off my nose and kind of I know it's bad but I kind of like scraped it a little bit to kind of peel so there's no like little pieces of skin peeling and then I reapplied just a tiny tiny bit of concealer not too much makeup on my nose so if you can see it I'm sorry but that was the deal with that so I am gonna be bronzing and bronzing up my skin I'm going in with the NYC bronzer and I'm just gonna be applying that to the places where I would normally bronze and then I'm gonna go in right here with the wet n wild dulce de leche contour duo and I'm just gonna be um, applying more bronzer just to kind of you know so I don't look that pale <laughs> going in with the Hikari blush in the shade tango and then I'm gonna go in with my lower lash line so I'm gonna go in with these three shades that I pointed to right here um, using a small crease brush and applying that I didn't want to go super smoky so that's all I did and then I applied my black eyeliner for my waterline and then I do set it with a black powder just so that it lasts all day Going back in with my mascara to my bottom lashes and then my favorite part highlighting so I do mix these two shades and look at that glow Nicole Guerrero came through today <laughs> I love this palette you guys so I did apply it to the places where I would normally highlight and then you're gonna see that I do go back in and I apply more of the orangey tone because since my dress has a little bit of orange I wanted it to kind of balance the look together so I applied the wet and wild spray and I do apply the rose water that I normally don't do but since my face is kind of dry I have this rose water spray and it kind of hydrates the face so I applied both of those sprays and then going in with my liquid lip I'm gonna be linking down below everything that I'm using I'm gonna be going in with the same shade Primavera and just applying that in my inner eye just for a more pop of color and then that'll complete the look so that wraps up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up because it helps me a lot and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next week in the next one bye bye muchos besos